So who would benefit most from, from the school? Um, if somebody's watching this video and something twigs with them and they think, yes, this is what I need, how would they be sure that this is the right thing for them? Well, I think if you, if you um, an artist from any discipline of, of creativity, and you feel that you want to make this your life's work, this is the place to come to learn the language of business and to allow yourself to have the confidence and the, and the bravery to start something up that, bearing in mind the success stories, will, will possibly work and probably work. But I mean, I, the, the other thing that I do want to bear, people to bear in mind is this is not a small business course. It's not for people who've done an MBA and now want to understand how to run their own business. It's very, very much for creative entrepreneurs. So it's very, very much about people who are creatives that want to create sustainable businesses. It's not for people from other industries who say, well, I don't really understand finance or marketing and now I want to go on this cheap 13-week process. It's aimed, at, it's aimed at artists, designed and created by creative entrepreneurs, and the aim of it is to allow artists to be more sustainable in this country. Give us more information about where we can find you and if somebody thinks I need to get my application in in these three days, where do they go? So they can go to um, the UCT Graduate School um, of Business's website. They've just typed in Business Acumen for Artists. Um, and there's a whole application and inquiry button there as well as the timetable. So that would probably be the, the best place to go to, to enroll. And they've got three days left, so the applications end on Friday. On a personal note, as you look back at some of the alumni who've come out of, mm. out of the school, I can see that there is certainly a sense of pride no, when you is. talk about no, them. Is, absolutely. As, as the facilitator, when you look back at these graduates, what do you feel? I feel extraordinary pride. I mean, it's, it's interesting because when you set out to do something, often the I mean, the purpose for me was driven so, so by a, a deep belief that having had been on this journey, I could make a difference. But for me, I, I would have been happy with the difference just being in that room. So for there to be just so many incredible stories of, of, of people who've come alive through really being able to follow what they love just makes me, it makes me proud. It humbles me makes me feel a little bit shy um, <laughs> and in awe really, in awe that I, that I know so many extraordinary creative entrepreneurs. And it, it extends further to that because as I mentioned to you before the camera started rolling, we've interviewed um, Lorraine, we're yeah. always talking about Dear Ray Jewelry, yeah. we had Cizelle in studio. Oh wow. These are people who... My people. Your people are, are literally speaking to... <laughs> and then to you must get Renee because she's just yes. won that award and Kai in who's just won the Atelier Award. Absolutely. Yeah. These are people who are talking to the whole country now. Wow. And and we're certainly grateful for that. <laughs> I bloody well hope they mention Business Acumen for Artists <laughs> in these interviews. <laughs> but that's also the interesting thing, you know, you asked the question about you know, what does it do and and it's, it's, it's interesting because often, often as a teacher, you're very much in the shadows, you know? People don't kind of talk about what helped them. They, they, it'll help them, but it, it often becomes their own narrative. So, so in a sense, it's, a, it's like a, a, a proud teacher in the shadow in the wings. <laughs> <laughs> and on that poetic note, we'll leave it there. And what we'll do, Elaine, is put those details to contact Fantastic. GSB under this video. So any of our viewers at home can go and have a look there.